Hey guys, Chris Anderson from PursuitHunting.com bringing you another straight shooting gear review. Today we're going to be talking about two products that are part of the core of my hunting navigation system. The first is the E-Trax GPS from Garmin and the second is the Topo State Series of Mapping Software from National Geographic. And I'm talking about these two products together for a reason and that is because they, they work hand in hand and, and I see them as, as almost being linked. With this GPS and with this software package, I basically have all of the capabilities of a much more expensive GPS unit and then some. When you put these two pieces together, what you end up with is something that is much more usable and much more useful than a mapping GPS that might cost two, even three times as much as the combined cost of these two units. So why are, why are these things important? Well, you know, if you're serious about pursuing whitetails on their turf, and that's what I call the pursuit style of hunting, you're going to have to put in some serious scouting time. And if you're interested in learning more about that, I've got a ton of information on my website. That's pursuithunting.com, and there's a section called Scouting 101 that has a bunch of articles about uh, the details of scouting. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that right now, but just, just say in a nutshell, that I, that I kind of break up my scouting into two parts. I've got my preseason scouting and then I've got my in-season scouting. And in the preseason, I'm out there and what I'm really doing is looking primarily for future food sources, things like oak trees and persimmon trees, and I'm going out and I'm identifying those locations where there are trees that I see acorns growing on or I see persimmons growing on, and I'm going to make note of those locations and I'm going to come back and I'm going to check them as it gets closer to deer season. When deer season gets here, my scouting technique changes a little bit because what I'm looking for at that point is where the deer are actually feeding. And again, I've got a ton of information on how you figure that out out on my website uh, in the Scouting 101 section. Make sure and check that out. In order to go out and do a thorough job of scouting, you're going to have to know how to navigate in unfamiliar territory. And, and that may mean you're, you're hunting on a new piece of land that you really don't know that well. It could mean that you're hunting on public land. I find that having a, a good navigation capability is absolutely critical when you're on public land, primarily just for getting around. But there's another aspect to having a good navigation system, and that is that I'm using it to document what I find. So even if I'm hunting on a piece of property that I know really well, I find that these two pieces combined with the rest of my navigation system give me a really good way of recording what I'm seeing and keeping a record of it that I'll refer back to throughout the season and even in, in future seasons. So what I'm talking about is a hunting navigation system. And I'm going to show you how my field navigation system is put together. I'm going to take this out of here for now. I have a little pouch here. Uh, it's a Jansport pouch. I don't know that it's critical that Obviously you can use whatever kind of pouch you want, but when I'm in the field, I store my GPS in here and I've got it set up so that I can put this pouch on my belt. I can put it onto a uh, little fanny pack that I carry around and here's what's in it. Obviously the GPS is part of it. My compass, Silver Ranger. Nice sighting compass. Topographic map, which I've produced and printed off from my Topo software. A field notebook to take notes. And a pencil to write with. So that's that's my navigation system right there. And what I'm going to talk about, obviously, are, are these two parts. Um, I want to say from the start that this unit here is no replacement for this. If I've got to go out with two things in my pocket to go on a scouting trip, these are going to be those two things because um, they're, they're absolutely going to work. Obviously, paper isn't going to go bad. And this is a... Uh, special kind of paper that I'm going to talk about in just a second. Um, and obviously, 
compass is always going to work. GPS's on the other hand are subject to failure. Batteries can go dead, you can drop them. You can see that I've dropped mine here. It's got a crack in the glass. It didn't affect the performance of it, but it could have. Um, and with, with any GPS, if you get into really steep terrain under thick cover, particularly when there's a lot of moisture in the air with clouds or rain, sometimes you're not going to be able to pick up a good signal. So I, I would never depend on my GPS as my primary hunting navigation tool. That's what the map and compass are for. I use this primarily for supporting the topographic map that I, that I use, and I'm going to talk about how I do that. One other point that I'd make about the GPS is that I don't think I've ever used it to navigate my way back to a place that I've picked out to hunt in. If, if I've chosen a spot where I'm going to hunt, I typically have figured out a way to get back into that spot using terrain features like I'll follow a creek until I get to a certain point or the top of a ridge or something like that. And then if I need uh, additional navigation aids, I'll use reflective tacks or flagging tape or, some, tape or something of that nature to find my way in. But uh, I, I've, I don't think I've ever used my GPS um, and followed it to get to a hunting spot. What I use it for primarily is to mark a location, to, to record a location, and then I'll take that location from my GPS and I'm going to incorporate it into a customized topographic map that I'm going to make using my topo software here. So what I'm going to talk about now is, is the process for how I do that and how these two pieces here of my hunting navigation kit work together to not only help you effectively navigate through the woods, but also to record the results of your scouting trip. And by doing that, this map really gets to be more and more useful. The more information I can put on here about what I know about the area that I'm hunting in, the more and more useful this map becomes to me. So we're going to talk about that. This is not going to be a, like a traditional gear review where I'm going to go through every feature on, on each of these products that would take hours to do because they're, they both have a lot of capabilities. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on those features that I find most useful in using them together. So let's just hit the highlights on, on each of these two products and talk about them just a little bit individually. This is the, as I said, the National Ge Geographic Topo State Series of topographic maps. There are 28 different versions of this depending on the state that you live in. I live in Tennessee, and for Tennessee they've combined Tennessee and Kentucky together into one package. It has, I think it's uh, seven, seven CD-ROMs for all the data required. The maps come from scanned U.S. Geological Service seven and a half minute topo maps. Each set of discs actually has three sets of map series. It has the one in 500,000 series. It has a one in 100,000 series, which is also known as the 15 minute series. And the series, which is really the only useful series for hunting purposes, which is the one in 24,000 series, also known as the seven, seven and a half minute quads. You'll, you'll see them called seven and a half minute quads frequently. The, the quality of the maps that you get because they're scanned is, is excellent. And probably the neatest feature is you can store a variety of custom symbols on the map and you can print them out onto whatever type of paper you want. I'm going to talk about briefly what this is. This is a type of paper also produced by National Geographic. It's called their adventure paper. It's some awesome stuff. And just to show you how awesome it is, I have a pitcher of water here. I'm going to take this map. I'm just going to drop it down in my pitcher of water. And we're going to come back to that in a little while. I'm just going to let that soak for a while so that we can see how neat this stuff is. 